way you got to walk through it. That's right. And then with that patience, you have experience. Right. You experience what will happen when you have that patience. And then because of that experience, then you get hope. That's your confidence right. and your faith. And then hope make us not disappointed or ashamed right. Right. because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. His love is spilled out in Amen. the Amen. Shed abroad. That's right. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, that's Praise the God. scriptures that I was going. That's the same thing. Amen. 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 Praise God. Go ahead. Yeah, it reminded me of uh, James chapter 1, mm -hmm. where it talked about... Um, yeah, count it all joy. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. It's not that you're... Rejoicing because you have tribulations, <laughs> but you know that you know in due time you'll be out of them and you're going to be stronger and that much better for it. Amen. Right. I think we rejoice because we see it's working. Right. You know, we're in it. We may still be in pain, but you're rejoicing because you know as you rejoice, God's really strengthened you. Right. right. And, and it's going to bring through it. Yeah. But yeah. the word also tells us many are the afflictions of the righteous, yes. and God will deliver us from them all. So He's promised us deliverance. So why yeah. not rejoice, right? Yeah. That's He's right. already promised us. That's right. That He's remembering right. His promises. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has for us. Yeah. And then I found it interesting, verse 7 and 8. Well, verse 7. For scarcely, no, for scarcely for a righteous man will one die, but per adventure a good man would some even dare to die. God looks on our hearts. He looks on the inside. Man looks on the outside. So if somebody they think is really good, they will die before a righteous man. You know, if you don't know God, you're not going to. That's right. Yeah, and going down you don't to want to hear. Still, right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's would right. you run yourself out in the car for like three days? Yeah. <laughs> what was the last part? What? Superman. Superman. Uh, oh. Would you go run out of the car to save Lex Luthor? Because that was the bad guy in my head. That's Superman. Right. <laughs> That's cute. Right. <laughs> Praise God. Any, any other comments on, on Romans? Now, now let's look at an example of justification by prayer. You know, there's a lot of times. Um, People think that they're justified in how they pray, but we're going to look at this in Luke chapter 18, and we're going to go to verses 9 through 14. Luke chapter 18. And we're going to start at verse 9. Anyone would like to read 9 through 14? I'll read. Okay. And he spake this parable unto certain which he trusted in themselves that they were righteous. And one thing, Jen, hold on. So just underline, trusted in themselves that they were righteous. And you remember justification is trusting in God. God says right. that we're, we're righteous. So this person trusted in themselves that they were righteous. Okay. Which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one was a Pharisee, the other was a publician. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as his publician. I fast twice a week, I give tithes of all that I possess, and the publician standing afar off would not even lift, would not lift up so much as his eyes into heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for every one that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Amen. 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 So see, you see, Jesus is saying, this man went down <coughs> justified rather than the other, because he trusted in Christ, mm -hmm. not in himself, right. as the other person did, trusted in himself. So it's a point in which we know that everything that we do is of Christ. How we live, how we move, how we walk, it's all of Christ. It's not of ourselves. So we don't trust in ourselves. And in Psalms uh, 71, uh, I think it's verse 1, it says, 
uh, in thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. We put our trust in him. It's not in ourselves, not in other people, but it's in thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. And that's where trust is our confidence in God, our confidence that God will take care of us, that he will lead us, that he will provide for us, that he will watch over us, that he will give us all that we need to live a successful life in this earth, on this earth. And that we will accomplish all that Christ has called us to do. That's what that's where our trust is, is in the Lord. Amen? Amen. 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 So I wanted to um, kind of give us some scriptures this morning about justification. And we did talk about, I think, the word imputed. That was mentioned, I think, Jenna, when you read, uh, or somebody read. Imputed means to ascribe to another. So that's what Christ did. He imputed uh, righteousness to us right. through his shed blood, through his blood. And um, I think that was all that I have. Now, um, God, what God wanted me to do today, and um, we're going to do this, is we're, we're all going to um, celebrate somebody very special. And I just thank God for this person being a part of our Bible study. Uh, she is just uh, a wonderful, beautiful mother, about to be mother. And uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, and we just wanted to uh, appreciate her today because um, she's about to give birth to a beautiful baby boy. And we're just so happy that God has just brought a family to you. And we've got gifts and we've got mm -hmm. celebration for you, Kimberly. Yes, we do. And that was why I wanted you to share that for... <laughs> yeah, that was Oh, pass it out. Excuse me. Yes. We can't say she couldn't hear you. Oh, okay. Um, I was saying that that's why we wanted, wanted Kimberly to share this morning um, because I wanted to make sure you would be here so uh, that we <laughs> so that we could we could celebrate you Kimberly because you've been a part of the ladies Bible study for um, going on two years now and we just want to um, just celebrate you so what God wanted me to do uh, first of all is he wanted all the ladies to pray for, for Kimberly so we're first going to pray for you and then we're going to present gifts and um, your special Okay. I was wondering why you said you were almost done. I'm like, that's not <laughs> <laughs> It's because God has born. He has born. So let's just end in prayer and um, how you're led to pray. However you're led to pray, um, um, just be led to pray for people today. All right. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this day. Father, we just thank you for your word that has gone forth into our hearts and to our ears, Lord. We thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, down the cross for us. We thank you that we are justified by your grace, Lord, and your mercy that you have shed abroad upon each of us, Lord. And we're just so grateful for what you have given us. We thank you for your blood, Lord Jesus, that was shed for us, Lord, on the cross. Thank you for making us righteous because of you, Lord Jesus. Thank you that we're justified because of you, Lord Jesus. Thank you that we are redeemed by your blood because of you, because of your blood that was shed. So, Father, as we um, pray for Kimberly, Lord, I pray that you would just bless her, Lord. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for the birth that will take place, Lord, in July. Thank you that the baby will be holy unto you, Lord. I just pray for more and more for Kimberly, Lord, that you will continue to lead her and guide her. Thank you, Father God, for the... Um, just for her making her way out this morning, Lord, to this ladies' Bible study. Thank you for how you have poured into all the ladies that are here, Lord. And I pray that you will continue to bless us, continue to bless us and lead us, Lord. And um, give us what you would have us to have, Lord, today. And we thank you for this free gift that you've given us, Lord. Thank you for salvation. Thank you, Father God, for a right mind. Thank you for health. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for activities of our limbs. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we have, uh, we can walk, we can talk, we can see, Lord, we can smell. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for a house that we have. Thank you for clothes. Thank you for all that you have given us, Lord. We just bless your holy name. We praise you for this day. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we just thank you for Kimberly, Lord, that as she's preparing to deliver. Lord, that she will have, just pray that she will have some amazing encounters with you mm -hmm. over these next few weeks. Let her and her son just begin to come in and connect even in the spirit now, where he hears everything that's even being spoken now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Father God, I just pray right now that he is sealed, Lord, that he shall be a man that shall come out knowing you, mm -hmm. knowing the word. But he's already equipped because you already knew him before he was born. Thank you, Jesus. Born. So let this child be one that shall come up with the word. Mm -hmm. And one that you will use to uh, as a sign and a wonder. Thank you, Lord. To even minister to those in his family and bloodline. Thank you, Jesus. Even at a young age, the things that will come out of his mouth will astonish him and amaze his parents. But it's because he's with you. And you're doing a new thing with the children now. You're teaching them yourself. Thank you. So Lord, we thank you right now. Jesus, that he will have a personal encounter with you. Holy Spirit, that he will come to know as his friend. And our Father, that he will visit you many times in heaven. So Lord, just bless Kim. Lord, bless her to be able to relate to our child. Let her have encounters and experiences, even in her night dreams, even as she has daydreams, Father. Even though she has open visions, that she will begin to sense your presence more and more, knowing that you want to be involved in every part of her day. So Lord, we just thank you right now for her life. Thank you that she's chosen to carry this child and, and do the things that you would call her to do, praying over her child, yes. loving the child, and being that mother you called her to be. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, I pray that you bless Kim and Gavin's bloodline, Father God, that wherever this child go, whoever has that baby sit for him, whoever needs to just be with him, that you will be the forefront. Your way will be the forefront of everything that's done in their speech, in their actions. Let them never, ever have to experience um, being in the care of someone else, Father God, that does not know and love you. Yes. Believe in you, Father God. I pray that every way will be made straight for him, that he will not have to encounter any crooked paths, Father God. But every way will be made straight. And I pray, Father God, that at an early age, he ask about you, Lord. And that, as um, even um, as Tamina said, as Kimberly is carrying him now, that she reads to him, and that when he comes, that she reads to him, Father, every morning and every night. Thank you that he will be a child of prayer, child of purpose, God, yes, and one who loves and believes you. Thank I thank you that he will, I pray that he'll cleave after you like he'll cleave yeah. after, like a baby, cleave after their mom, their parents, by the time. Yes, we call him blessed. We call him yes, blessed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, I pray for Kimberly and Tamina um, and Gavin. God, and I just thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. Um, I just thank you um, that they have a strong relationship with you, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I just bless um, both of them, Lord, and as they are about to have um, a baby, Lord. Uh, I just pray that um, the pregnancy and everything will go smoothly, God, and that you would just touch the doctors and give them this, and God, that um, it would just be a great pregnancy, God. Um, and then also that you just continue just to give both Gavin and Kimberly, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding more on um, what to say or how, um, you know, just things to encourage um, their son, Lord, um, that he would just grow to be a strong man of integrity, Lord, who fears yes. you. And I just thank you just um, for them as parents, Lord. And I just pray um, that, again, that you would just give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on um, raising their son. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Father, thank you so much for the blessing of this baby. Lord, um, I just pray that you would be with Kim through the delivery, Lord. I pray that she would sense your presence there with her. Lord, I just pray that your peace would be um, with all of them, Lord. I pray against any complications, Lord, just that everything would go smoothly. Um, Lord, I just pray that 